Welcome to ECLIMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this last part of this topic, Deflection at Curved Services. Today we are going to discuss the defects of curved mirrors. So right from the beginning of this chapter, we have been discussing narrow parallel beams of light, close and parallel to the principal axis in studying reflection of light by curved mirrors. For a concave mirror, in this case, we said all these rays, which we call the parachute rays, will converge at one particular point, which we call the principal focus. However, if a wide parallel beam is incident on the spherical mirror of a very wide aperture, this is not going to be the case since some of the rays will behave like marginal rays and they will be focused or they will concentrate at a point along the focal plane away from the principal focus. And when that happens, then they are going to cause a defect which we call spherical aberration. And in that case, uh, they are going to cause what we call a caustic cuff. So that's what the, that's the defect that we're going to discuss in this lesson. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to describe how spherical aberration occurs and how a caustic surface is formed and how it can be collected using parabolic mirrors. When we talk about spherical aberration, we are talking about an intrinsic defect that occurs in spherical mirrors due to their shape. In this case, we want to realize if you have a mirror with a very wide aperture and a very small curve like this one here, and you have a principal focus at this point. If you have parallel beam, close and parallel with the principal axis, but this beam, if it's very wide, and this mirror has a very wide aperture, then most of these rays which are close will converge at this point F. However, those which are very far away from the principal axis will converge outside that focal point. And in that case, it results to what we call the spherical operation. So spherical operation is caused when the mirror has a very wide aperture and the rays which are very far away from the principal axis cannot converge at the principal focus. So one of the effects of this defect, which we call spherical aberration, is that light striking the outer edge of the mirror do not focus at the same point as those striking in the inner portion. Like in this case, if you have your mirror here and you have your principal axis, you have the focal point there and you have C there, then in this case, if you have different rays, like I'm going to draw some of the rays here. If you have one ray at this point, this is a ray which is very far, then you have other rays which are close to the principal axis. I'm trying to draw a few rays for demonstration purposes, like in that case. Then below here also, you have a ray like that. You have another one like that, and then you have the one which is very far away from the mirror like that. In this case, this is the back side of this mirror. If I can draw the back side of this mirror. So these rays, the one which are close to the principal axis, well, all of them will converge. Like in this case, the first one here is going to converge at F. The second one here is going to converge at F, then the third also is going to converge at F because it's close to the principal axis and they are parallel with the principal axis, we call them paraxial rays. However, the one which is very far away from this mirror is not going to converge. Let me draw it with the blue pen. It's not going to converge at that point. It's going to converge somewhere here. So below here also, some of these rays, which are close to the principal axis, will converge at the focal point. So this one will converge at the focal point. This one also is going to converge at the focal point. Then the one which is very far away from this uh, focal point or the principal axis will also converge outside the focal point. 
So in this case, we will have two different focal points. One, we have this F1, then here we have F2. So in this case, if you have an object here, which was to be focused by all reflected by this uh, mirror, it's going to be bland. It's not, no, it's not going to be clear. And then for you to confirm that these rays which are very far away are the ones that are made to be blurred, then if you block these rays from converging at some point inside this uh, mirror, then what you're going to see, if you block these rays, like in this case, you, bl you block ray one and ray two, the, the one that are focusing outside the focal point, the image that will be formed will be very sharp and focused. So in this case, it means these rays which are very far away from the principal axis will converge outside the focal point and in that case they will cause what we call a caustic surface which we are going to discuss shortly and in that place on that case it's going to cause a defect which we call a spherical aberration so this spherical aberration defect can be corrected using a mirror which is more curved than that of a concave mirror and in this case we use a mirror which we discussed at the beginning of this topic, which we call a parabolic mirror. Parabolic mirror in this case is more curved than a concave mirror. And in this case, if this is the mirror that we have, and you have rays which are close and parallel to the principal axis. So here, if this is the principal axis and we have the principal focus at this point here, then N ray, which is going to be or which will be in contact or in contact with the inner part of this mirror like in this case if i can draw rays which are parallel to the principal axis like that then we have another one here we have another ray there we have another ray here then even if you have it very far but it is close to the or it's parallel to the principal axis this rays all of them are going to be converged at the center of curvature, that is the focal point, not center of curvature, but the center of uh, focal point. In this case, this one will be reflected here. Then this one also will be reflected at this point F. Then this one, which we have here, all of it will be reflected at that point, if I can draw it better. So this one also will be reflected at this point, at the focal point. This one also will be reflected at the focal point. This one here will be reflected at the focal point. Even this one which is here will be reflected at the focal point like that. So in this case, the problem of having more than two focal points will be reduced and we have reduced it by using what we call parabolic mirrors I've used a parabolic mirror to correct spherical operation since it's more curved than concave mirrors so these parabolic mirrors due to their ability to converge right light at only one point they are used in or they can be used in propagation of parallel light beams of high intensity like in hand torches such lights and the car heads all those car heads that you have you see they have um, some light which is converging out in this case for a car head all the car headlights they are they have a, con a parabolic mirror behind it like if you have a car light like this one here this is the parabolic surface which is behind it and then that lamp is placed at the point of focus or the focal point then now when it's going to produce rays to this uh, mirror like that so this one is going to produce rays to this mirror now this mirror is going to reflect them out of this surface parallel to the principal axis like that so this one is going to reflect all the rays uh, from that principal focus and it will divide, reflect them along a common uh, point like that so this property of this parabolic mirrors it makes without forming a, a spherical operation 
is used in so such lights and even in car headlights and even hand torches. So when spherical aberration takes place, it results to intersection of rays away from the focal point and that results to a situation what we call a caustic curve. And a caustic curve is a locus of our focal point for rays at different distances from the mirror's axis. So in this case, the rays which are close to the mirror converge at a single point, that is the principal focus, but those which are very far away from the mirror, they meet at various points due to this defect which we call the spherical aberration. So that will mark the end of our lesson today and the end of the topic reflection at curved surfaces. In the next topic now, we will start one of the most interesting topics in physics that is magnetic effects of electric current. And I hope you will enjoy that topic the same way you have enjoyed this one. But for more details on this topic, feel free to visit ECLEMU Learning Simplified for more notes, questions, and even more videos on this topic.